So I want to talk about the thymus gland and why it shrinks down to nothing as you get older. It's a very, very important gland as it relates to your immune system because it is the training center for your immune cells, specifically the T cells, which stand for thymus cells. And this gland is right underneath your breastbone, right on top of the heart, not to be confused with your thyroid, which is a little bit higher up right here. The thyroid and the thymus are completely two different separate glands. Now, when you're an infant, you have this huge thymus gland. And the reason why it's huge is because it doesn't have all the experience yet. It has to go through practice by being exposed to germs and develop or acquire its immunity because the T cells are part of the immune system that relates to adaptive or acquired immunity. So you have to be exposed, learn from this experience and develop immunity over time. And as you age, it starts to decrease in size. By the time you're like 75 years old, it's virtually replaced by fat. And they call this thymic involution, okay? Or, or thymic atrophy. Atrophy means it shrinks, okay? So without that gland working or even being there, your risk for infection goes up. Your risk for getting cancer goes up. Your risk of getting an autoimmune disease also goes up because one of the key functions of the thymus is to prevent or protect against autoimmune diseases. And one of the theories that contributes to this is a decreased amount of antioxidants. And then you're going to have all this oxidation, which is going to kill more cells. So if that is true, which it might be, it validates the idea of consuming um, a good amount of vegetables, leafy greens, preferably raw, throughout your life. But the thymus is involved with these uh, T cells. So we have the T killer cells. These are antiviral. They're also anti-tumor. They kill tumor cells. And then we have the T helper cell. This cell is like the commander of the entire immune system. So the HIV virus, for example, targets this cell and it takes out the entire immune system. So the T helper cell is not necessarily the quarterback of a football team. It's the coach of the football team in which they are helping design the plays, coordinating what everyone does to help win the game. So you take this guy out and uh, the whole thing kind of goes downhill. So that's what the T helper cell does. Now the T regulatory cell or T suppressor cell is involved with suppressing an overreactive immune system. So it'll put out inflammation. It also specifically helps prevent autoimmune diseases. So you take this thing out and then your risk factor goes up. Now, when you hit age uh, 65, the diversity of these cells diminishes significantly. So basically this all increases your susceptibility to having problems. Now, what's interesting about this COVID-19 is that it seems to be when you're below 65 and healthy, the risk factor from dying from this virus go down so significantly that the odds of you dying are very similar to the odds of you dying in a car when you're traveling to work. Yet when you go over 65, it, it goes up. So apparently 65 is kind of a, a key age for your immune system. So now the question is, what can we do? We can't control aging. We can control our health and other things. Number one, we can start to beef up, no pun intended, our antioxidants from vegetables that could help us. Number two, keeping the stress lowered. S stress by itself, and I'm talking about sustained stress like cortisol, has the ability to shrink the thymus gland as well as your lymphatic glands like the lymph nodes. So excessive stress can cause atrophy of your immune system. Next thing is very, very important. And I'm gonna put some research down below. If you have a zinc deficiency, one of the symptoms is this, your thymus gland actually atrophies. So how difficult would it be just to take some zinc on a regular basis? Very, very important for your immune system to maximize and optimize the size of your thymus gland so you can keep this going as much as possible. Now, through your life, if you've been exposed to germs, you have a tremendous amount of 
anybody sitting there to help protect you. So it's not that you need to keep the training going uh, for these T cells like you were when you were a kid, but it's important to maintain this thymus gland so you can keep your resistance to infection uh, very, very high. One more um, thing I want to mention. If you are over 65 or even over 75, there's a really um, good support remedy that you could get, thymus extract. Now, I'm not going to recommend any brands. You're going to have to do the research by yourself. It's a glandular extract that you can get freeze-dried and take a little bit each day. That can greatly help support your immune system, specifically the thymus gland. Take a very small amount initially and gradually work up to maybe even you know, like one capsule per day. Don't take the whole capsule right off because it could wake up the immune system and create a little bit of a reaction. But if you take just maybe a half a capsule uh, with food and take it for like a couple of weeks and then slowly increase it a little bit more and more, um, I think that can support your immune system. All right, thanks for watching.